Every year in Utah, we have the Sundance Film Festival up in Park City, and a friend of a friend asked the Studio McGee team to design the Deadline Lounge at a gallery that we often frequent. It's going to be like an interview space. It's kind of an interesting layout because you walk in and there's like a little area and then some stairs and it's very narrow. So every, all the art the stays. So all the art stays, okay. but then we're bringing in Mickey and Co furniture. We have to utilize everything from um, existing stock and pieces that we have in our warehouse. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So that's the challenge. You got a plan? I got a, I got a plan. You need to study oh, these boards gosh. because you okay. are going to head up this install. I'm not going to be there. Feels like going to the grocery store. <laughs> really daunting. This is not what a California boy expects in January. It's not gonna work. <laughs> And the crazy part about all of this is that we shoot summer. One of our biggest photo shoots coming up in two weeks. I don't really know why we said we should do this, but we just get ourselves into things and figure because it Tony out. Because Tony said know? we should do this. <laughs> Here's kind of the entry area that we're going to make a check-in desk. Sundance, celebrities, gifts, swag, things like that. And then there's this o the open area. Mm -hmm. That's the snack area. I love that area. You love this It's already my favorite. Area. So then we're doing a photo area and a video area. Our sets team is creating a really beautiful Roman clay backdrop. When I was working with the team to create this, they came up with a few different options. One was like drapes, creating like a, a rod that had drapes that went all the way across, but then we'd have to create a sign that was suspended in front of that. We wanted it to be a bit more dramatic, and so we pulled this dark kind of blue-green tone from the Evangeline rug and um, coordinated that with the backdrop. But then with some stools behind, so in case like there's like a big cast or whatever, they yeah, can have like so three in front and three in the back. Yeah, so so that they can kind of layer. So the team gave Shay some options, and of all the options, she picked the trickiest. They'll be using this as a backdrop with a couch and some additional space behind it to conduct interviews and do uh, media stuff. They needed as much space as they could to have cameras over here. We had to create a, a faux wall. Um, that was thin and could go back as far as possible. So we're on a time crunch to get the wall plastered, done, finished, sconces installed, not wired, just faux, faux show, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna move the couch in right now, right? We're about to, yeah. Okay. Last, this is cool. the lounge. So there is a long open space and it is long enough to create like two different living room setups. It was like we needed to make sure that we had the rug in stock in two sizes and that we had sofas and chairs that all worked together and looked like two separate living rooms, but all one. And I actually think that this is a good tip if you, for some reason you're decorating, maybe it's a commercial space or you have a really long living area. We coordinated the rugs, they're the same, and then we matched the coffee tables so that the spaces are anchored with a lot of balance. And then we um, changed up all the other furniture around it. There's we continuity. Also... <laughs> continuity. There you go. There you go. We even created lounge branding. Ooh. We're going to have coffee table merch, which Ooh, happens I love to be that book. which happens to That's be good. The Art of Home, my book. Which Best seller, we're by really the way. Side to... note. I know. It's great. I've been in the New York Times too, you know, you and me. <laughs> They did these cool postcards, um, and they are Studio McGee design, picture. I'm gonna take that one home. I don't want you guys to be like, we're one short. Matthew McConaughey didn't have a, a, a coaster, you know? There's the deadline for the, the deadline. Yeah, that's the deadline for the deadline. 
and I'm gonna pass the baton to you. Did uh, you tell them to is... call you if any like hot celebrities show up? You're like, hey, just call me, you I'll come by and check on the space, know. make sure it's working <laughs> just fine. Yeah. So as you can see, there's a lot going on. It's been a pretty busy morning. Uh, lots to do, lots to install. Uh, the team came up in the snow. It was pretty hectic this morning. They're amazing. They always do amazing work. My hope is that we can set the place up to look awesome, that she comes in and doesn't have to move a thing. She can just give her sign off, but I am not that delusional. I know that Shay will go into any space and have to do a little like that. We'll see. You gotta get the, uh, the boss ladies sign off, yeah. What do you think? You did good. I like this looks it. nice. It's all me. Very Park City. Are you gonna move some things around? You know, I'm not gonna move anything around. I think one of my favorite details are these little postcards. I know, those are really cool, huh? I thought that yesterday oh, that was like one of the first things I, I recognized. Steal a few. It's kind of like a split level gallery. And we have this entryway here. Um, we went with this racetrack shaped table um, and this is perfect when you have tight spaces because you get this curved edge and it's easy for people to kind of walk around and go downstairs and explore or go up to where the lounge space and all of um, the video and photo areas are. When we decided to take this project on, there was some debate about, you know, are we keeping all of the art on the walls? Do we coordinate it with the furniture? And ultimately, this is a gallery. It's one of my favorite galleries in Park City. I've sourced pieces here for projects before. In fact, one of the artists I'll show you in a second um, is in one of our projects uh, that you have seen before. I love that it's very eclectic. It feels like a gallery, but we're adding that livability to the open spaces and we've just taken everything up a notch. So let's go upstairs and I'll walk you through how we've transformed this space. I love the, these, the barn ones. Always have. It looks nice. It looks really great, huh? Yes. It, I was so nervous about this because it was a really tight turnaround. And I love the color palette through here, like the browns and the olive greens and the mix of patterns, the natural materials. Tinge uh, did, Ashley did these gorgeous um, arrangements. I love the big greenery. We've got a lot of heavy textures as well. So everything from velvet to stonewashed linen and wool rugs, as well as this um, dark plaster on the lamp. When I was sharing the design plans, I talked about how we created two living spaces that needed to speak to one another, but not be exactly the same. So do you ever go into some spaces and they're like, these spaces are no longer speaking to each other? They had a disagreement. <laughs> we separated them with a console table, which is nice because you get a surface. We anchored both spaces with the same rug and the same coffee table. So we get that nice balance. And then we um, surrounded those um, anchor points with things that were different, but have some relation. So we've got olive green on both sides. We've got um, heavy textures. Oh, did they make the same thing? I, no, just different. <laughs> yeah, I took some leftover pillow fabric and made my best. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In order to have our little brand moments throughout this space, we put in these really pretty pewter uh, picture frames. However, if you're designing your home, I would recommend not putting a picture frame on your coffee table because it doesn't look good from all sides. I would leave that to a shelf or something that has um, a back to it uh, or an accent table where you can kind of hide the back with a lamp. Then we have our Magda chair, which is one of our best-selling chairs. And yeah, I, I think like that chair. it's a great fit for the space. Oh, just chilling yes. in Park City. Then behind me, we've got the mirror. This is another top seller at McGee & Co. It's this large arched mirror with a metal frame. And uh, it'll come in really handy so people can um, 
check themselves in the mirror before they go in to the studio space, which I'll take you back to next. You gotta check and, you yourself. Know, we've got camera equipment and there's stuff around um, and we're just rolling with it. So that's starting tonight. Gonna start using it starts space like tonight. in a couple of minutes. We had a fan here drying the plaster just a minute ago. Like, oh, like a actual like fan. an actual Not fan. like a fan of the show or something. No, and I am so glad we went with this really dark blue tone on the plaster because it, awesome. it is so dramatic and it is the perfect backdrop to tie into our Evangeline rug. This is something I really want to talk about because it's so beautiful. It's really cool. We just launched our spring collection and the shape of this sofa was in the living room in a Krypton fabric with this contrast piping. But we're also showing it in this really beautiful mohair velvet. And I am like, oh my gosh, I just what? redid our house, but I kind of want to put this in my house. It's so oh pretty. My gosh. No, I don't. <laughs> We've got our counter stools. Now we have a pretty That's space wild. for them to enjoy while, this is while really cool. having their interviews. I so. like the piping, dude. Yeah, looks good. So our team's still wrapping up a few loose ends, but I am so excited for you to see the finished results of this project. Tight turnaround, our team killed it. It looks beautiful and I hope all of the actors that come through here can be surrounded by some beauty while they work at these interviews. Up next, so you saw that this home that we designed in Houston was featured on Architectural Digest, and now we're going to be showing you the video tours. So don't forget to subscribe. Just don't say like, subscribe, smash the button below. Smash that. <laughs> Faster was so fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, totally. <laughs> killed it, Andrew, or I killed Andrew, I don't know, either yeah, yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs>